today on Wani Cinco. Okay, about the Lego movie stuff. We're gonna open up this one today, right there. What else should we get? Party bus. What else could we get? What? <gasps> Look what I found. They're here. They're here. They're here. Hurry, let's find them. But they're in the wrong box. They don't belong in here. So here they are, guys. Ah. The Lego 2 movie figs, long last. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Ah, oh, and they look so great. Oh, I'm so excited to play with them. Ah, oh, little Emmett with his cup and his little little cell phone. Ah, oh, and of course you got the Wizard of Oz characters. We're very excited about it. This is the captain speaking. Konnichiwa. Wow. Don't you go away. Well, I do say. It's Texas. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> Should we get the little one? Yes. Happy or angry? Oh, so when you feel the way you feel. That's true. Okay, about the Lego movie stuff. We're gonna open up this one today, right there. What else should we get? Party bus. What else could we get? What? <gasps> Look what I found. They're here? They're here. They're here. Hurry, let's find out. But they're in the wrong box. They don't belong in here. Here they are. Oh, yeah. We found them guys. They're at your local Target. So just go check them out. Two movie minifigure sets. Ah, I'm so excited. Ah. So, what do we have here? We've got exactly 20 of each of our characters. Here they are here. Ah, and the Wizard of Oz. As you notice here, it's also noted and mentioned Wizard of Oz. Let's check out the box art. Limited edition. the actual size. Not much in the back. It's pretty empty. One thing I did notice is they got rid of the UPC symbol. There's none on the bottom of this box. And what's cool about it, if you are so fortunate to get a box, is uh, it does have these individual spacings between each of the containers. You can put all of your packagings in here. I've got 20 of them. And then, uh, as you can see here, I pulled out the back. This retracts down. The figure fits in there. Then you can slide this into here and have a nice container for your Lego minifigs, so you can save it for later. I love collecting the boxes. I got a really nice one, by the way. This one was like in mint condition. No one tore it, ripped it. So I'm very fortunate. Hopefully you get fortunate too. All you gotta do when you get the box, by the way, is make sure you buy something. Don't just take the box. And uh, just ask the worker. Just say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and take the box along with my minifig purchase today. And uh, they, sometimes they'll let you take it. Sometimes you'll talk to the manager, but I was fortunate enough to give him permission to take mine. So let's get to it. So the first thing we'll notice is the packaging is new. It's a lot taller than previous packaging, as you can see here. It's uh, 
it's a little bit bigger. Not as, not the exact same size, look at it from overhaul view, there you go. And uh, it's a little wider in size, a little wider, slightly, but definitely taller. Um, it's a little bit different material than the other ones. These ones are a little harder, they're a little thicker. A little thinner, so that makes it easier for, uh, for feeling and discovering what could be in here. Ooh, I have an idea. Another thing too is you flip it over. These ones were full color. These ones are now white in the back. Um, they are, um, of course, uh, there, there are no bump coats. That's one big secret here, guys. As you recall from the previous ones, you could actually see on the bottom of the packaging, they hold it to the light just right. Ah, there's one in the corner right there. Look right there in the corner. There are bump coats. These new ones have no bump coats. That makes them really tricky. I'm trying to discover if I can figure something out here. But, ah, uh, this is going to be difficult. Uh, and of course, your lot number, what comes with your, with your set. So that way you know that's what the only difference, but they're all the same. Let's get started. Peel the bottom area, peel back. Look at that. These are way easier than the previous ones. This is a little thinner, but it doesn't really help you open it. But they're a lot easier than the previous um, baggies to open. So I like to open it from the top, so let's do that. Okay. So our first figure, we have Ruben Guess. Oh, a rocking girl. And this is interesting. These ones have packaging within packaging. That's kind of nice. They're kind of organized. Oops. As you can see, 20 of them, which we have been able to find all 20 today. So we're going to keep this as our guide. A little imprint on the side so we can nicely pull it. And there we go. So let's build this little girl. She's got some cool little shoes. She's a rocker. Kind of reminds me of Josie and the Pussycats. Oh, don't forget the tail. She's a, she's a, she's a kitty cat. Let's put the tail on. These ones are new. They've got white bases now. So that's kind of nice. And then she, of course, has um, two faces. A happy face and a smiley face. I'm going to go with the happy face. I think that's kind of cool. She's got this new... This one's kind of a sil uh, hard mold. Not silicone. There she is. And she comes with two mics, just in case you lose one. Or you want to find it. Come sing karaoke. Everything is awesome. Oh, and this one's a rocker. So she's got her little guitar. Isn't that special? Oh my favorite, awesome. We got a uh, wild style. So as you can see, she's got her um, apocalyptic gear here. She's really cool. She's a little different from the other ones previously. As you can see, they kind of did that little upturn section make her look like a woman. She comes with a neat little uh, bow. No crossbow though, that's interesting. Oh, and then also notice her little hands. She's got a glove on this side and no glove on that side. That's also kind of interesting. I'm gonna put her with the uh, binoculars on the gloveless side. Oh, and mine was already popped inside. My, uh, let's see if I can get her head off. There we go. So she has, as well, two faces. A smiley face and a concerned face. And of course she comes with like this Ray style um, um, hood. Which makes her look like she's like exploring. You know, because uh, Wild Style is uh, an explorer. She's got her binoculars, checking that out. Check that out, Wild Style. Otherwise known as AKA Lucy. Very nice. Oh, let's see what we got here. Okay. This figure. Ah, for a second, I thought it was a music girl again, but no, it's Unikitty. I'm gonna try to get a Unikitty from memory. So I remember that she, um, the unfortunate thing about this Unikitty is that she is a, um, a repeat of the past, but that's okay. I like having another one. So I'm gonna put this one here. I remember Unikitty had little cuffs for like little socks, and I remember there were two feet were different colors. She had a back foot and a front foot, red, I mean, sorry, yellow and sky blue. So there she is. And then um, I believe there was an extra cap here because she had two. Oh, no, 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 that was on her head. That's right on her head, just like that, and then you can't forget her little ears, Unikitty, she's a kitty cat, and of course a unicorn needs her little horn. Nice thing about Unikitty is she comes with extras, so in case you're missing any. And I remember she had a collar, she had a white little collar, and then a green little necktie. And that goes on any end you like, I like to put it on the blue end. And you can't have Unikitty without her tail, there's her little tail. Unikitty comes with tons of extras, so in case you lose any or you want to make a second Unikitty you can. Basically has doubles of everything. And as you can see, we can stick her here on her little platform. I think the white one suits Unikitty a lot better. There she is, Unikitty. The last one. And as you can see, there's there's a little bit of a change. You can see in her eyes. They're a little bigger. This is Lego Movie One, Lego Movie Two. It's... Next one. We have here. Oh, some people didn't like this, but I like the mascot ones. I don't know. It just depends on your taste. But these are neat for if you had like a um, like a little mini Lego Comic Con. You could have these little characters, and I think they'd be fun to add. This one's got some cool glasses. I'm gonna put his regular face on. And I like this one, because he comes with free watermelon, because you can't be a watermelon man unless you don't have watermelon to share. So, he's 
and it shares watermelon free samples. And of course, this is kind of cool. This is a neat one. This one has a little slot in the back. There are watermelon seeds on the back and the front and a little face hole for him. So we're gonna slide him in. There he is. I like that. I'm gonna have like a little, I think I might make a little Comic-Con with all my Lego minifigs that are, uh, what do you call it? All decorated in their mascot costumes. So we'll have a little uh, party one of these days. Another one. Let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, the first of our Wizard of Oz series. This is interesting that they packed them nicely like this. That must be something, I think the ones that are special with the hair pieces, they seem to do that, I noticed. That must make them uh, a little bit more um, unique, maybe rare, you wanna say. Um, Dorothy, of course, comes with her signature ruby slippers, as you can see here. A little blue socks. She comes in her little uh, checkered uh, picnic outfit. It's interesting they didn't give her like a special skirt or anything like that. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, she, doesn't, she does have double faces, as you can see. I'm gonna put her with the happy face, because I love happy, happy Legos. And she does come with this new, this one has a little bit of a silicone feel to it. It is kind of flexible, her piece. And that's a new one too, I like that, little ribbons. And of course Toto, he's kind of a hard one to get. This is mimicked after the white dog they used to have that came with uh, the uh, Trophy Man, I believe. And uh, except he's of course Toto colored. So let's put Toto right here. He's a little tricky, because let's see if we lift him up here. That way he fits right beside her. There he is, Toto and Dorothy. See what we got here. Oh, another mascot. I'm gonna be having myself a Comic-Con with my Legos eventually. So this one's really cool. He's got little polka dots, or I should say pattern of, uh, these aren't polka dots, these are like uh, prints of giraffe prints all around his little body and around his belly. I like how he just did the, his belly section is open. Kind of gives it a, uh, what would you call it, uh, to symbolize his little belly, whereas his back has it fully covered. His little hooves and his hands are both colored, like hooves. <laughs> And then of course he's got a little smiley face. Let me put his head on for you. He's got a little smiley face with little, his little tongue sticking out and then a smiley happy face here. I'm gonna do the, the little silly tongue sticking out. And he's got some cute little leaves because giraffes love their, their grass. And he's got an interesting hat. This one's really long and tall. And I believe if you've seen one of the dance scenes, you'll see this guy dancing. And his, his is super tall. I don't know if he's gonna fit in my Lego shelf. But yeah, look at that. And compared to a regular figure, look how tall he is. That's crazy. Next one. Ah, uh, let's see what we have here. By the way, watch your finger when you do this. They are super sharp. Oh, Mr. Business, or say President Business. Now it's Retiree Business. Um, he comes as a retiree. He's got his little white glove because he's going golfing. And his normal little hand. He's got a nice little polo, a little tie. Well, it doesn't really tie. A little vest, sweater vest. I like that. He's a lot more happier than he used to be. He's either happy or kind of concerned. We're gonna go with the happy one. And then of course he's got his Mr. Business hair style. And of course his golf clubs, so that's really exciting. So his golf club is a new item. It's very flexible. It's very easy to find Mr. B uh, business with this, uh, look for this long thing here when you're trying to feel for that, um, that figure. And sure enough, uh, and you'll notice it's a little flexible, so you'll know that's the right one because it's not uh, stiff like a, uh, like a broomstick. Check that out. He's ready to go play some golf. Too bad he didn't come with a little ball, but yep. That's uh, no longer president business, now Mr. Business. Ooh, let's see what we got here. favorites. Ah, this is Benny. Now, I will recommend, if you're trying to feel for Benny, look for this little wrench. He's the only one with a tool and a toolbox in his. Uh, I don't believe this opens. Ah, oh, there's another little Lego minifig this opens. This one does not, but it comes with a cool little Benny emblem, which I like that. And of course, as usual, Benny is his, in his blue attire. There's a secret to the movie. Benny might be losing his arm, and that's why you see this robotic arm that Benny's holding right now. So go ahead and put that in. And of course, Benny has his, his uh, worn out uh, space emblem on. Don't forget his little air uh, air tanks. You need that. Benny has two faces: a sad face and a happy face. So I'm gonna go with the happy face, of course. And of course, he comes with a signature Benny helmet. So it's bright, barely cracked. I'm gonna put that on. There's not much variance between this Benny versus the original Benny in comparison. But uh, let me turn that around so you can see those little there. That's cool. I like that. So you can compare this to the original Benny that came out. I believe the one that came out had a sausage or a, uh, a megaphone, but this was the original Benny from Lego Movie 1 versus Lego Movie 2. Helmets are the same, emblems are the same, so not much change for Benny other than his new robotic arm. So isn't that interesting? Oh, oh right. Let's see what we got here. Ah, of course, the cat lady. This is one of my favorite figures. And the reason why is, um, well, she used to have a bunch of little cat fur all over her, and this new one does not. So she's dressed in, I guess leather doesn't attach uh, cat fur as much as uh, as much as you would think. Um, this one's a little tricky to put on, so you gotta maybe like share the stand, because it's a little kitty cat. 
This is Sam, and the cat's really cool, by the way. He's not flexible, except for his mohawk. It's a little flexible. The rest of his body is hard. Um, but to find him, feel for the curl, and you'll know you found the cat. That's the only way to find this one. And of course her hair, but there's so many with long hair, like the Cowardly Lion, that makes it so tricky. She doesn't have two faces, she only has one. And we'll put on her hair. As you can see, there she is right there. So there you go, there's her transition between the two. There's been quite a change. She, she got rid of the, the furry um, sweater she used to have. And she kept her glasses, of course. And of course, now she has this new little cool cat. Mm -hmm. So that's Cat Lady. Oh, let's see what we have here. Each one's just something new. That's what's exciting. And it's Emmett, of course, none other than our favorite little guy. So Emmett is uh, adorning his, uh, of course, his favorite little uniform, construction uniform. Emmett does have two faces. This is a new one, a little smiley with closed eyes. I'm gonna go with that one. And then of course, this one's a cool hair piece. He's wearing his little, uh, uh, what would you call it? Beats, uh, I don't know if they're Beats or they're just headphones. And uh, what's cool is Emmett now also has a little cell phone, a smartphone too, and it says awesome on it, the awesome mix. So Emmett's listening to his favorite songs. And what's also cool with this one, it comes with this new little sippy cup. This one looks like one of those little cups you can drink coffee in. And as we all know, Emmett loves his coffee. So that's a really cool one. Ah, so of course, as you know, when the original Emmett came out, he had the piece of resistance that he would attach to his back. Um, not much of a change other than the hair piece from Lego Movie 1 versus Lego Movie 2. Um, but you can, as you can see, they both shine just like before. So the outfit is almost identical, except for the head piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's another hula girl. Now this one's one of the other singers that we needed. Let's see what we have here. This one, the, the only way to find this one is this record right here. She's the only one with a round piece. So I highly recommend you search for her by looking, trying to locate this round section. That's how I found her. Um, she's in neat, she comes with little sandals, as you can see. I believe the little stripe around it resembles sandals. That's probably why she has that. And uh, these ones are a little difficult sometimes to put on. So you gotta like, kind of like wrap it around. But let's see if we can get it. Okay, so only part, half of it. That's kind of neat, it's kind of like a little, a half turned little skirt she's got on. And sometimes they're hard to put on. She's gotta use two fing hands, two fingers when you put it on. Uh-oh, I got a little hand caught in the skirt. Let me get that out real quick. There. Okay, got it out. Very nice. Um, she has two faces as well. One kind of singing, one kind of smiling. So we're gonna go with the smiling one. And she's got this interesting hairdo. It kind of has like this nice, uh, kind of a, uh, what do you call it, a 1940s vibe to it. I like that. She definitely is a singer or a DJ. These might be some friends of uh, our good old friend, uh, Wild Style. And she came with an extra mic in case you wanted to do karaoke with her. So she's ready to do Everything is Awesome. Check her out, she's really cool. Another one, let's see what we have here. Oh, another one of our Wizard of Oz friends. Okay, that's Scarecrow. Don't confuse him with the Tin Man. They both have a little point on their heads. You'll feel for him and you'll, you'll realize you're touching this little ribbon that's around his head. So once you find that, you'll know you got the right one. Plus, the difference between the two is he has a square. So look for the square and you should be able to find his uh, certificate of achievements, which basically is uh, another term for diploma because he's smart. So let's put him together real quick. He comes with his nice little uh, feet along with uh, little patches. It's kind of neat to see. And of course he's got his little hands that are covered in little white gloves. And his face, he doesn't have double faces. He only has one. He has a cute little face. He's kind of a neat one to have. Very rare. Of course, put the little bow in the front. And a certificate of achievement in his hand. He's so proud of it. Who wouldn't be proud to have a diploma? Ah, so that's our little friend, the uh, scarecrow. Ah, what do we have here? Let's see. Oh, this is. I thought for a second there it was wild style, and I happen to have him. I'll pull him down in a second. I'll show you my original one. So he's kind of interesting. He's got a little, uh, oh, kind of like a pirate. He's got a little scarf around his waist. It's a little different. And on his chest, he's got some uh, cool little pistons, kind of like coat of arms kind of things. Interesting little collar he's got on. Um, he does not have a, a light beard or mustache on his actual face because that's on his helmet, or I should say on his hat. And his hat is really cool, by the way. It's not, it's very hard. It looks kind of steampunk-like. I'm gonna put that on. And as you can see here, he has this uh, kind of steampunk feel to him and look to him. So it's very different. Yes, it is. Huh. Oh, and it comes with an axe. <laughs> got one extra stick in case you lose one. So save that. So he's got his little battle axe. So a lot of these apocalypse bird people are all ready, to, ready for battle. Hmm. So. so here's the difference between our two uh, Abraham Lincolns. You have the one holding the four scores and seven years ago speech, and the other one wielding an axe. 
So I'm sure you can see uh, these are your two options. Um, it's interesting what the Apocalypse Bird characters have to go through to survive, and uh, this is what you have. So before and after, Abraham Lincoln. Ah, let's see what we have here. What did we get? Oh, nice. So we have a Wild Style singer. So there's a suspicion, if you notice on this album, this kind of gives away a little bit of a secret here. But if you read this very closely, do you see what that says? That there, my friend, says, everything is awesome on a golden record. So what that tells us, and if it's with Wild Style, that makes you wonder, did Wild Style write and sing the Everything is Awesome song? Because this is quite an interesting suspicion. She, of course, comes with an extra mic, so you and your little friend, like uh, none other than Emmett, can come and sing along with her. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Oh, yeah. But yes, that's, that's our good old friend Wildstyle with her golden album, our record album. I like the hair, too. It's kind of fun. Ah, another one. Let's see what we have here. Let's see a whip. Oh, now the one for this one. I can tell you right now, the easiest way to find it is definitely feel for the whip. He's the only one with a whip. So this is our swamp monster. And I can tell you right now, the whip is the easiest way to discover him because you'll feel for this. It's not a tail. You know it's the longest one. You know you have the right character. So this is interesting. Can you zip bags? That's nice. Convenient for sure. Um, I don't know if I have the original one. I don't see it up there. But of course, the swamp monster's got the crazy little eyes. And of course, he's got his cool little, little hat on. And he's wielding his, uh, his whip, battle whip. He's got an interesting little uniform. This time he's actually wearing some clothes, which makes it kind of interesting. Yeah, so that's the um, Swamp Monster. That's really cool. Let's turn him around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Let's see. Ah, another singer, of course. All right, so let's see what we got here. This must be a singer that's friends with. Now, this was a tricky one. I was looking for this while I was trying to feel for this bag. She was It was attached to her, so I would have never found it. But if you're looking for this one, this is kind of hard to find. You gotta feel for the little tutu that she's wearing. This one's kind of neat, she's got little stars on it. So that's a little different from before. We've had our, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, K-pop singer. She looks kind of similar to this. Um, so hers is really easy to assemble. Make sure you put her hands up there. My hands always get in the way for some reason. There. Uh, she's gonna need to be holding her mic. As usual, we got an extra mic for, for a friend. She's got her little cute little smile and her little wink. Oh, I like the wink, we're gonna use that one. Her little winky wink. And she's holding, uh, some of you people may not know what this is, but it's a cassette. Because of course she needs her, she needs her boom box too, probably. Let's see if Emmett has one of those. And she's got some cool hair. Her hair, is, by the way, is not flexible. It's, it's actually really hard. It's different from the Mary Jane one. I remember that one was on Mary Jane. Ah, look at that. That's really cool. Oh, what do we have here? Okay. I got one repeat, guys. I'm a little concerned. I might be missing one, but we'll find out which one is in. I know. All right, well, we have the Tin Man. Oh, this is so exciting. The Tin Man, I heard that he has a lot of spare parts, which I thought was very nice. And I'm glad I got some spare parts in mine too. But what's cool about the Tin Man, you can see here, he's got some little rivets around his edge. He's got some tarnish along his heels, because of course he was standing there for years, remember? Um, his little chest has some rust on it. He doesn't come with an oil can, although we do have a little, uh, uh, I believe we have an oil can from our Lego City. And of course he comes with his heart. You can't be a, you can't be a cowardly, uh, not the cowardly, the, the heart without the, uh, uh, bleh, uh, Tin Man without the heart. I like his little face. He does not have a face on the back, just in the front. And of course he's building his little axe. Not a battle axe, just an axe, because he has to cut down the trees. Oh, and I almost forgot. He comes with a nice little bow tie, and there's a couple extras, so I like that. I might use those bow ties for other characters. Make sure you slip that in while you're putting on his head. Line it up just nicely. Putting it all together. There you go. And he, he's a little bit of a tricky one because you've got to find this little hat. And he's different from uh, the scarecrow. It means that he has this little tidbit that st sticks out. So just look for that when you're feeling for him, and you should have the uh, Tin Man. And that goes on his little head. So there you go. We got the Tin Man. Very nice. What could this be? Oh, Crayon Girl. Something else in there. She comes in a, of course, like usual little bag. She's the easiest to find. It's similar to the little firecracker guy or the rocket guy. Just look for the little tip. It actually looks very similar to the same mold they use to just change the color. Um, crayon Girl is in the dance scene. So you may see her. And she comes with a cool crayon. So it makes you wonder, you know, where you're like, well, how did Crayon Girl draw this? So maybe she grabbed the crayon off the top of her head and she's just like, mm -hmm, trying to draw this picture. And then she's like, all right, stick it back on my head. And then there's the photo. That's how she colored it. 
You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, we wish we had an extra crayon for our hand, but I think I have a pen that came with one of my Lego friends uh, ones, and I'll probably put that in her hand, so. That's Purple Crayon Girl. Ah, next one. Let's see what we have here. And I know where I failed, guys, but we'll talk about that later. Ah, this one was a tricky one to find, guys. This here is uh, Rex, I believe is his name. And uh, he has, he's very cool. This one's cool because the ones that are in the other packages just do not come with the, uh, red, by the way, he has two faces, kind of a smug face and a happy face. We're gonna go with the happy one. Um, he uh, does not have the cowboy hat. And that's what's really cool about this one. I love this little cowboy hat with his hair underneath it. That looks really neat. You can see his hair kind of flipped up in the back. It's kind of cool. So that's a, that's a really cool headpiece. Yeah, I've never seen one like that. He's got little blue gloves, kind of neat. And of course he's got a little dino raptor. I love that. This is a really cool one, by the way, this blue. This one has kind of like a, oh, what do you kind of describe this? Um, these cool little blue stripes on the top of them. Yeah, I like that. That's really neat. And little green eyes. Ooh. So let's put him right here next to his good old dino trainer. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. Cool. I didn't get very many um, spare parts. This is as many spare parts as I collected. Oh, I like this little container from Small World at Disney. But anyhow, um, yeah, these were the only spare parts that I had. So I can make another Unikitty if I wanted to. Oh, I can have, gosh, four more backup singers if I wanted to. Do some karaoke. I might make a little karaoke bar in my little town. So that's awesome. Yeah, not bad for extra pieces. It's nice to have spare parts with the uh, mini figs. So here they are, guys. Ah, the Lego 2 movie figs. Long last. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Ah, and they look so great. Oh, I'm so excited to play with them. Ah, little Emmett with his cup and his little little cell phone. Ah, and of course you got the Wizard of Oz characters. We're very excited about it. Ah, and like I mentioned, we still got that little guy to find. So the adventure continues. Ah, oh, this is gonna be exciting. Check it out. He's got little feet. Oh. Don't forget to put his tail in. Someone I told you I was hard to confuse. Look at that. His little face. And his little head. This is hard plastic. Oh, yeah. And he's got his little medal of honor. Look at that. There he is. So before I go, I wanted to share with you my new Lego stand, and I have another video where I show you how to make one of these. They're really easy. Each one of these little mini 2x4 two by two by Legos are attached with, yes, Craggle, um, but it allows me to get each of my characters, as you can see here, and place them on a nice little stand so they can be displayed for, for viewing, and of course, uh, you know, after installing them, they're really easy to snap in there. I can, of course, have a perfect little space for them to be displayed. What's awesome about this, this is, by the way, this is for shot glasses, um, but they're perfect size. Look at them. And I love the colors I used. I used primary colors to kind of display them. I'll put all my new LEGO 2 movie figures right up here. Ah, oh, yes. La piece de la resistance. You can see here, I put all my LEGO minifigure 1 movie characters up here. Along with that, of course, uh, President Business. And uh, all of our characters from LEGO Movie 1. And as we progress down, we see our new LEGO Movie 2 figures trying to come together. Ah, I've got some new spots for the new ones. And I love these new little plates they came out with, too. They're white ones versus the black ones they used to have. So I'm going to enjoy displaying those there. So as we collect some more, we got some empty spots. Ah, we'll be filling them in. Ah. Behold, the Wizard of Oz family is complete. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Cowardly Lion, Tin Man, Scarecrow, Dorothy, Wicked Witch from Dimensions, and the Crazy Monkey from Dimensions. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to give you some tips because, of course, how else are you going to find all 20 if you don't know what you're looking for? Um, uh, Wild Style, or I should say AKA Lucy, is really easy. You want to search for this little guy right here on the back, which is this little arrow thing. This She's the only one that feel, you can feel for it. You'll notice right away the little head collar, and you'll be able to feel this um, kind of, what do you call this, bow and arrow um, uh, satchel that she's wearing. So that's the easiest way to find her. Plus, you'll feel the binoculars immediately. She's the only one that she's wearing those. Um, Scarecrow. You want to feel for this little hat. You'll feel a little ribbon around it. Don't confuse him for the Tin Man. Uh, the Tin Man will show you the difference between the two hats, but it's very smooth, feels like a little witch hat, and you'll look for this little two-by-two, two, a little square flat piece. That's another way to find him. Um, Cat Lady, don't confuse her with Dorothy. That's other another thing. They both have this little hair that's coming down the front of their the front of themselves and the tail. This is what you want to look for. You want to look at the for the animal, and you want to feel for the little cat tail, a little upturn on the back. That'll tell you right away that it's the kitty cat. It's kind of hard to feel for this. I tried because it's so flexible, you won't even notice it in the bag at all. The Tin Man, like I mentioned, he feels like the Scarecrow, except you want to feel for this little tip right here. Then you'll know that you have him. You'll also feel the axe inside the bag. That's one other way. You'll never feel this little heart. It's really tricky. Um, he does come with two of those hearts. So if you can feel for two, then you'll know you have the right one. 
Uh, Benny's pretty easy. It's this little handle right here. It's a little wrench. He's the only one with a wrench. And that's how you'll know it's him right away. And of course, you'll feel the smooth little helmet immediately inside the bag. This girl's a little tricky. You want to feel for this. Mine was attached to her legs. So there was no way that I was going to find this thing. But if you feel for her little tutu, you'll feel the little ruffles. You'll know exactly you got the right one. This is the one that I confused for the Cowardly Lion, so you gotta be really careful, guys. Um, the only way that you know the difference is that this one has guitar and the lion does not. This tail is the exact tail that the lion has. So when you feel for this, you'll think you have a lion, when in fact you have her. So be very careful. I unfortunately got doubles on this one, but I'm gonna go search for the lion now. Um, so you'll feel for the guitar, and that's when you'll know you have the right one. Uh, he was one of the last ones that I had to look for. Um, of course, the easiest way to find him was the raptor. And of course, the raptor is different from the dog because he's got this long, super long tail. So you'll know you have the raptor because you'll feel for his little tail. And you'll be like, yeah, I got Rex. That's the easiest way to discover this guy. Um, Abraham Lincoln is a little tricky because you'll feel for this tall thing. You'll think it's the, the crayon. Uh, so you'll want to feel for the battle axe. So his is in two pieces. You'll look for the two sticks, which feel like Harry Potter wands. And then you'll know for sure you got the right one because you feel the battle axe. So you'll have uh, Abraham Lincoln. The watermelon guy, uh, that's pretty straightforward. So just feel for the tr large triangular shape and you'll feel for little tiny ones. But this is this is a no-brainer. You should be able to figure it out with this large uh, object that's inside the baggie. Unikitty's so straightforward. She's the one with the most pieces. When you shake the bag, you'll hear a lot of pieces in it. She's the only one with no uh, Lego feet. And as you know, Lego feet are really easy to find. So are the Lego chest torsos. So you'll know immediately you've got Unikitty. Plus you can just feel for the little horn and you'll know, yep, it's Unikitty. This one here is uh, interesting because it was a little tricky to find. I didn't want to confuse it with the Cowardly Lion, which I never got. So, <laughs> But you'll look for this one and you'll feel for the little nubbies on its head, which are actually bones, believe it or not, on, a, on an actual giraffe. These aren't horns. They're actually from the, from his head. And um, uh, you'll make sure you look for that. And, of course, uh, that's the easiest way you'll find the giraffe. Um, just like in the past, this one's the, probably one of the easiest ones. You'll be able to find this one immediately. It's not hard to confuse this with the um, Scarecrow because you'll feel the shell of this crayon immediately. And you'll look for this. So that's the way you can tell the difference between this guy and this one. Just make sure you feel the whole shell and know that this is a, uh, it's not a rocket, it's a crayon. <laughs> Emmett, the only way I found Emmett was the cup. So you'll want to look for this little cup. You'll feel for the cup because it's nice, smooth, and round. And that's how you know that you've got Emmett. The rest of them is pretty tricky to find. Dorothy, don't confuse her for Mrs. Scratch and Sniff, because uh, they both have little puppies. You want to feel the tail of the, of the animal that's in there, and that's the only way you can know the difference between her versus this lady here. And the reason for that is their, their animals, oh my gosh, are almost identical. So is their hair, as you can see. They both have, Dorothy, of course, has more flexible hair, whereas hers is hard, uh, but it's the tail of the animal that tells the difference. Those are, uh, those are pretty tricky for that reason. Huh, get it? Pretty tricky. <laughs> And uh, what do we have here? Wild Style. Okay, yes. So she's the only one with a 2 by 3 brick. So you'll find that one immediately. You'll know it's her. Um, that's the only way you can tell the difference. Because you'll find all these little mics. But you got to feel for the little object that they're holding. And that's why it makes this hula girl the easiest. Because she's the only one with a circular one. So look, feel for this little guy. And you'll know you found the right one, the record. And who else do we have here? Ah, Swamp Man. He's easy too. Just feel for the whip. You won't be able to miss him. And then Professor, uh, Mr. Business, his golf club is one way to find him, but just beware, it's very flexible. It's not like a broomstick, so you'll know it's him once you feel for this little thing. It's not, it's not an axe, because you'll feel the end, it almost feels like a spoon, and you'll realize, ah, yes, and that's Mr. Business. So there are some tips there to hopefully help you find them, and I really hope you, you have good luck in your search. Don't forget about the ones that are very similar, you want to avoid, and uh, hopefully you don't get bamboozled like I did when I ac accidentally got two singers and I didn't get the Cowardly Lion. But I'm going to go find him now. That's what makes the search exciting. Ah, they're out there, guys. Go find them. And good luck. It's hot in the summer, but I dance, I dance, I dance for you. You like it? I said, I said, you like it? Oh, 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 oh.